Homies, what's up? Bohan back with another video on my, you know, I need a new toy review table. This is all getting all beat up here. It's kind of in a bad area, but this is a uh, toy review video and I wanted to use it as kind of a comment on toys that aren't uh, expensive. And specifically these are toys, or should be, I haven't opened it yet, toys about as cheap as you can get. And I have a soft place in my heart for these type of things because when I was a kid, um, we had seven kids, so nine people in the family all together. We weren't poor, but we didn't have a lot of money. We, we you know, we had food. My mom was great about all that. But um, I have a very soft place in my heart because I used to go to places like TGNY. Shout out to TGNY from back in the day. And uh, places like that, the the, the uh, swap meet or the, what they call the flea market. And they sure, I'm sure they still have those things these days. And I would get the cheapest toys I could sometimes because I had to. And these come from the, the chain called Dollar Tree, similar to like a dollar store, uh, five and under type thing. But this is their line of toys that somebody on the subreddit, and I'm forgetting their name, I'll, I'll put it in the... Uh, in the uh, comments there said hey check out these toys from a uh, Dollar Tree they're really cool and they are a dollar and I think it's I think it's important to remember that there are kids out there because the reason I'm into toys is because not because they remind me of being a kid I mean that's fun and everything but I'm an adult I don't, you know I have, I have a fun adulthood same as my childhood but it's to remind me of stuff that a kid would find exciting or fun or interesting and this is their line of toys, good, good guys and bad guys, uh, called uh, Final Faction, and this person said, check these toys out, they look pretty cool, and I thought they did, and they were a dollar piece, and basically, if it said very specifically on the site, if you buy all five, if you put a quantity of five for this, the good guys line, for example, in your cart, we will uh, send you one of each of the characters. And then for the bad guys, I think it was four. And so I did that. So I got all of these. I got the five good guys, the five, uh, four, four bad guys, who honestly were my favorite. And two packs of accessories, two piles of accessories for like under 20 bucks. So I think it's cool that, you know, just because you're buying a cheap toy doesn't mean you don't, you know, doesn't mean you, you, you get something that um, is not cool. And a lot of kids, they, you know, this is important for a kid to have access to toys, even when they don't have the most money in the world. This is like a robot guy. Pretty cool, so not, not much posability or anything like that, but that's fine. Um, I'm noticing these little dots here, so I'm, I'm guessing these little holes are where they're gonna have plugs for the um, accessories. So really basic movement, nothing crazy. The head moves, the legs just do a basic thing, so there's no knee stuff. But looking at the, the molds and the builds, they're actually pretty cool. I mean, you can see here, this is a perfect project for somebody. I've, I've seen this on YouTube. I'm sure a lot of people have seen this on YouTube. Uh, people who take like a, um, a, you know, a toy that didn't have the nicest paint job or whatever in the world and they painted it for them or detailed it, redid it or whatever. Um, but they feel pretty solid. They are gonna take some beating, so that's good. This guy's like a, oh look, it does have kind of like a, um, a dry brush kind of effect on the metal, that's kind of cool. So again, basic basic movement, which is fine. That's a really all you need. If you're a kid, man, you just want you just want some 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 robots and and people to run around together, shooting stuff and beating stuff up. It's a lot of fun. Um, this, I guess, is a backpack. Might go in one of these slots here. I'll figure that out. There's a little gun thingy, little laser gun. Really cool. Here's a female character named Specialist Shift. Her her mold is actually really cool looking. I kind of don't want to tear the, the the cards too much because I actually think the art is really, really cool. Um, but feeling them so far, they're hard plastic. They're not, they don't feel real, it's, you know, it's cheap as you'd think. And um, they don't pose. They don't have, you know, all the articulation or whatever, but that's fine. Uh, again, for a dollar toy, that's pretty cool. She only has, she doesn't have any little additional areas. I wonder where her, oh, this goes in her back. That's cool. Let's put that back there. Maybe it goes the other way. So she's like a ninja person. Very cool. This is Steel. 
And he's got this backpack, which looks really cool. I mean, look at the art. I love the art in the back. It's like comic book looking art, really cool. And again, for a dollar, fantastic deal. You know, I wanna say the famous quote, I'll buy that for a dollar, but that might age me. And a lot of people who watch my channel, well, a lot of them are old like me, so. Another cool character. I'm, I'm, look, they do have this kind of, you know, dry brushed metal thing going here on some of the metal parts. So that shows just with a dry brush put on by the factory or whatever, if you you can you can bring out so much detail just by taking a brush with a literally how it sounds a dry brush and just and hitting that and look at that little area just kind of pops it's really nice he's got like a um, uh, wing backpack or kind of like um, jet backpack thing I'll get in there some some point there you go that might be upside down there's that guy uh, here's the big toughy steadfast nice nice nice. But when I was a kid, I would go to the flea market. I still, I had, it took me a while to hunt down a lot of the toys I had as a kid when I got older because a lot of them did come from flea markets and stuff and were what you would call like a knockoff or they were cheaper toys. And I ended up being able to find uh, most of them. Look at that big old gun, that's really cool looking. He's got a helmet. Oh, this first one with a helmet, so that's, oh, fits well. Fits really well, actually. Pretty cool. So again, not the most poseable, but they look nice. Imagine that with just a nice wash on that arm. See all those details? Um, th there's so many um, great molds and designs coming out of Cheap Toys. It's, am it's amazing, it really is amazing. So those are the good guys, we'll leave those there. Here's the bad guys, and for some reason they're going four bad guys, but I, I kind of dig that. Oh, these are like aliens, hey now, these are cool looking. Because they're, it's not like, oh wow, yeah, I'm, I'm preferring the aliens so far. <laughs> Here's like the drone, high class drone. Oh, another kind of dry brush thing going on here. These are fantastic. Um, we have a Dollar Tree nearby, so I didn't know we did. And then I found it the other day. And I said, well, I'm gonna go in there and see if those toys are there, but I'd already bought some. And I don't wanna take some off the shelf. Some other grown kid <laughs> or real kid needs one. Um, Cause not everybody has access to it. To enter. This one, it, it feels very light, but again, though, look at the little, the little dry brush effect. Very, very cool. Actually, that's a really cool looking creature. Just as a creature, that's really, really funky looking. I like that a lot. I've got two of these. I guess they came with a Synthoid Hive class. So these are like, I guess they're the same character maybe, but I thought there was four unique characters in Alien. Um, but I don't know. I added all, it, again, it said if you just add all four to your cart, we'll make sure one of each gets added, which I thought was really, really cool. Oh, this is, <laughs> that is cool looking. Oh, wow, that is neat looking. Look, and one of his arms is just like a blade, like a fighting blade. Look at that. I'm honestly more impressed by the uh, aliens. These are really, really cool. I just can't get over that a dollar nowadays buys the stuff that would honestly be just a, a ton of fun to have. But anyway, like I was saying, I've got a lot of old uh, toys that I had in the 80s when knockoffs or cheaper toys were, you know, robots, transformers, and stuff like that. And so most of my favorite toys were those style of toys uh, when I was a kid. And, and so to this day, now this guy's cool. To this day, I kind of prefer toys that are kind of unique and stick out. Look at this guy. He's a, he's a bruiser. So I guess he's got his little weapon here. That's cool. And I guess it's, his hand would hold it. Mess with that in a minute. So I really think these are really pretty cool looking. I kind of prefer them over the humans, but I think that's the idea is they're supposed to look opposite, you know, different than the humans. They did a good job there. Now these, I probably won't open all of them because there's just so many. I don't want a 30 minute video, but they give you an idea. You've got different weapons here. Um, this, what is this? Quake arms? So those are literally a weapon. I've got to open this one. It's like a claw weapon. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm really uh, impressed by these uh, designs here. They're very simple, but nice and original. So I guess this is gonna go, oh wow, look at that. Look at that. It goes right in the back there. Pretty tight, you gotta squeeze it. I don't have to redo it, but he's got like a laser backpack thing. That's really wicked cool. Shock arms. So just a bunch of cool uh, weapons, accessories. Not what I expected, honestly. I I, I think for a dollar, I, I knew that they would be, um, 
I, I thought it would be an IP that looked recognizable. If that makes sense. Like, oh, it looks like they're just making a rip off GI Joe or something. But actually, I'm quite surprised that these do not look that way. They actually have a pretty unique look and feel, which is a great idea. And I, I, I'm thrilled by the idea that um, helmets, gun. Wow, you get tons of little stuff. A drone, a, a backpack thing. Look at that, and they put the little lore on the back and everything. There's the lore. But I love the idea that a kid can go in there to the dollar store and get something that is is really a neat toy um, that didn't cost them. You know, because like I said, it's, it's really important to remember toys. When you get into collecting toys and stuff like that, you get a little older, you get, you know, you make some money so you can afford to buy the stuff you didn't necessarily have as a kid. Um, it's easy to forget um, that not everybody has access uh, to the same stuff. It really, it really is um, important to me that um, you know we don't, as collectors, we don't get into this into this hobby and and forget what it's about. I wonder if you put this on there. Forget what it's about deep down, which is you know in, enjoying stuff you enjoyed as a kid. But I enjoy this stuff because I like to think about what a, a, what a kid might think. I mean, if a kid came, a little eight-year-old or six-year-old came across these toys, they just they would have a blast. And as a parent, if you bought these and they busted them up and got them dirty or whatever, you wouldn't really care because they were a dollar. It's not gonna break the bank. But they feel sturdy enough that they would last quite a while. And I'm really liking the designs. I'm, I, I, I can dig that they're not doing the, you know, there's not much posability and stuff. That's that's kind of to be expected with something like this for this, you know, how, how inexpensive it is. But they didn't just throw out something that looks like, you know, a knockoff transformer, you know, the the cliche you see on uh, Tumblr and stuff where, you know, the it's almost embarrassingly a ripoff, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't feel like this is an original IP. And I gotta say, I think if they can keep this up, um, and I, I don't want their costs to go up, of course, because the idea is you want to leave it at a dollar or as close to that as you can. But I would bet you that a little line like this, you know, it, you, you add a little, a few more little details or something, maybe some little more possibility, you might start being able to, you might start getting a lot more reviews. I mean, it's just, I'm just really excited about this kind of thing. Like I said, the humans are uh, much more boring, I think, than the aliens to me, but they're very cool. I just like that monsters more. But you can see where they did some dry brushing just on the, just to make the details pop. That to me is a really interesting decision as well, that they didn't do it all over, but every, the more paint you add, the, the higher the cost. If every square inch you paint extra, it's gonna make that cost go, because that's labor, right? So they just decided to do some metal parts, which was a brilliant idea because, like, see, she doesn't have any. She's just kind of a, the, a standard color, but the aliens have that nice dry brushed kind of thing. And so it gives you an idea if you took something like this and just dry brushed, just like that, even with a metallic, it makes those things pop. So you can get a cheap toy like this line and, and with a, a can of basic paint, even just a silver or a wash or something, you can make these look amazing. So I don't know how long they would last. They, they feel really sturdy. Um, I don't think that they're gonna um, fall apart overnight or anything like that. So fantastic. I'm, I'm really, really thrilled about these and I'm, I'm happy that uh, user on subreddit, the toy subreddit, um, found these. But go check them out, they're the Final Faction Alpha Team. Uh, I think Final Faction is the line. I got them on the Dollar Tree site. Like I said, I think they're like 20 bucks and you get tons of stuff. Um, I kind of want to buy a bunch of these and give them the Toys for Tots or something because these are fantastic. There are some small, small parts, so be aware of that. You know, you do want to be careful and it says they're just choking up. But I'm very serious about that. You don't want to give these to two, you know, can't be too young. But other than that, you get all these little, like even just these packs as a kid, I would have just played... Even if I just had just this pack, that would have been a spaceship, that would have been a spaceship. The guns I probably would have tossed away. I wasn't a big weapons guy. But you see what I mean? It, it, little parts like that, that looks like a spaceship. You know, bring out uh, the imagination. Um, and the price of them being a dollar is fantastic because kids, especially kids who might not have a lot um, access to fancy toys like we do and stuff, $100 toys, whatever, they have an imagination and they need to play just like anybody so these are fantastic i'm very happy about these go pick some up or, or buy some for your nephew or niece and uh, look at his face actually his little eyes are really really cool i'm really pr impressed this is really fun i'm gonna have have fun setting these up and kind of getting them all put together and snapping some photos so have a good one everybody i'll talk to you later Bye bye